knows you anywhere near this building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a horrendous place. Yes. The people in it are horrendous because they're chosen to be. That and they're, selected to, they're actually trained to be obnoxious to people and to treat us as if we were serfs. Now, when you go in then to the mechanism that we've actually been involved in here, this is the greatest uh, intrusion, shall we say, and that's a very mild word, on our country and its freedoms in its history. Uh, you have to go right back into history to get an analogy in this country for what's happening here now. And it's all been done on, on, on behalf of foreign potential yes. occupiers. So we are treachery here at the most uh, extraordinary level. And, you know, we kind of, I suppose, nourish some hopes that there may be some honest people in this building still who would, you know, do what they would have done before, which is to say something like, okay, what have you got? You say, okay, you say that this is unconstitutional, okay, uh, we can certainly look at that. Uh, we need to, yeah, we'll start a process. And that's all we asked, a process to begin. They've taken us through all kinds of circuitous processes since, going on for over a year, which have cost a fortune. This could have been done in two days, the judicial review. A judicial review of the facts that we had all ready, we had all our, our experts ready to go once the whistle was blown for the judicial review. But no, they dragged us into a, 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 a fake process in order to waste our energies, to rob us, to break us, and but we're still here. And, and, but we have seen, we have been educated because we already saw the, the signs that our, our government and the uh, Oroctus were deeply corrupted. Mm -hmm. That there were actually no people in the Oroctus prepared to stand up and speak a truth. That's sadly the truth. Now there's been one or two voices in the recent past which have done a little better than that, but I won't say, I will hardly give them the gold medal. I might give them, reluctantly give them a bronze. Uh, uh, you know, uh, but now and we have seen the absolute unrelenting corruption of our media, which has lied and lied and lied and lied. I keep saying this, you know, if our case was so terrible, why couldn't the Irish Times have devoted a full page of a Saturday, get Fenton O'Toole to take our uh, uh, documents apart and yeah. make a right laugh yeah. of John and Jim? Yeah. Well, they didn't That's do right. it. Not one sentence did they reproduce of our paper. Not one sentence. These are criminals. This is Pravda. Worse than Pravda. Pravda would blush to see the Irish Times now. Um, and then this shower in here. They're supposed to be the last bulwark. They're the, the, the people who say the constitution is the, the, the final defense of the rights of the people. And these are its sole defenders. And so far they have betrayed their oaths, their calling, their responsibility, their duty, and they've betrayed the constitution and the people of Ireland. But we are not going to let them off the hook. This process is obviously serious. We spent the last two days seriously going again through everything and preparing this. this. Everything is done meticulously to the best of our ability in order to ensure that whatever happens will be not as a result of a failing of ours. Exactly. But the, what really we have come to realise and gradually and, and maybe quite soon on we, we realise that, that actually this is a two-pronged process. Number one, it's a process of dramatisation. And then it's a, secondly, a process of describing. The dramatisation is to show the people that their country has been corrupted absolutely. Sadly, sad and all of that is, that they need to see it in front of their eyes. Uh, Dini Rancourt, the Canadian uh, uh, scientist, described this process as a process of escalating violence in society. When, it's a, when a people is no longer able to appeal to the institutions of state, that they are always going to lose. That is the dramatization of violence. And that is what we said. Uh, one of the first things we were said, we were interested in doing. If that was going to be the case, then we were going to show it absolutely in the wrong. And the second one, if we were going to describe it unflinchingly. 
as it happened. And we are not going to spare our words or our passion in describing it. And we do not care for consequences for ourselves. We care far more for the consequences for our future children, grandchildren, the people who are walk, who, who are their little eyes looking up at us. Pleading, keep us safe. Well done. Yes. Keep us safe. These people think they can frighten us, threaten us with bills and jail. We couldn't care less because the consequences of them having their way is the destruction of everything we have worked for, everything we have received, everything we have cherished all our lives. These scoundrels, these gangsters, they will not win.